In Search of Yesterday, Science Fiction Story, written by Noel Nicholas Villarosa, there was totally no trace of certainty, everything that you will see has no resemblance of whatever connection in the past, mumbled by Oberon. In his mind, there was something a passage of time that needed to fill in the nexus. Oberon was a young biologist who lived in outer space in a biodome. What brought him into the cosmic void was completely out of his understanding. There's even bigger reason to bring a bigger picture of the connection in the past. Strange things happening inside the biodome, people started to hate or got bored of their everyday life. Advanced technologies were pushing them in the inept handling of their daily tasks. As everything in this little world of capsule they lived in was right off the bat a torpid condition. All communications were being transmitted in a microchip installed inside their brain, no handheld devices, and everything existed in thoughts just pairing in the outside place of not having a concrete existence. None of them knew about the blue marble planet called Earth. The space habitats have no idea what really happened to planet Earth. It has become a barren wasteland and never recovers from its asphyxiating atmosphere augmented by the continuous casting of UV radiation. It was the habitat's ancestor who tried to salvage what could be saved in the planet Earth but only a single ecosphere that they could assemble in a miniature glass was able to settle in the biodome. The ancestors tried to terraform the planet Earth but only little they could put in place. It has been a cautionary tale to reconnect in the past so the ancestors tried to expunge the face of Earth from the survivor and try to introduce them an automatic environment where everything was applied in visual illusion. Oberon being a biologist was curious of what has been left to them by the ancestor the ecosphere. From here he started to learn on why the living things stayed alive in spite of its only access into an artificial light. Oberon considered it as the greatest breakthrough in the field of science and he wanted to stretch more his study on this matter. Oberon tried the process of DNA replication of the species and as soon as it multiplies in generous numbers, Oberon immediately put this in an empty transparent glass. Every day Oberon has become a creator of a magnificent discovery and was planning to implant this back to the so-called lost Earth. Oberon needed few more time to put all of these into the final stage. But where in the vast galaxy the planet Earth could be found was not a serious dilemma because the ancestor left a spaceship for them to explore the galaxy and to find again the blue planet Earth. As everything was already, the team of Oberon launched a search for the lost Earth. Long before the ancestor left planet Earth, they put a tracking device on planet Earth and connected into the spaceship. This made the journey of Oberon and his team easy in tracing back the planet Earth. It was very splendid for Oberon and his team to finally see from the distance the blue planet Earth. They have brought with them many cryogenic tanks of O2 in order to breathe under an asphyxiating atmosphere. In the beginning was overlaying the microorganisms into the ground like the nitrogen-fixing bacteria. They see to it that there is enough water reserved under the ground. And the rest would be a process in contributing to the nitrogen cycle. They have to fill up the atmosphere with its two important main components nitrogen and oxygen. Oberon and his team had established a proper selection of the organisms, animals, and plants to form an ecological balance and along the process of photosynthesis by using the sunlight's energy to take those carbons released by plants and tethering it to make sugars thus releasing the oxygen. The next important thing they did was proving that the greenhouse effect has its primary gases all put in the Earth's atmosphere. Oberon and his team seriously considered that if they could replenish the Earth with all the natural greenhouse gases could be a great chance in supporting life back to Earth. Finally, 
when everything has begun shaping the atmosphere back into its original form, the Earth evolved into a breathing planet where humans, plants, and animals contribute to conserve and recycle the resources in order to maintain a breathable atmosphere. A long time ago when Earth's essential energies ruptured against human time, the effect was so devastating that the new inhabitants of the Earth have enough in deciding to preserve the blue planet Earth and to avoid putting life in a strange capsulized world. Many years have passed and the transformation was an image of Earth with protective atmosphere overshadowing many forms of life. Oberon and his team have succeeded in making Earth fit for occupation, putting life inside their own home. They started educating the new inhabitants of the catastrophic effect of atmospheric deterioration and warned them to be vigilant of the Earth's condition. One day we will explore more about the physical universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Who knows maybe one day we will find a near replica of our planet Earth, Oberon said. Thank you for watching, if you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, thank you.